let's uh, call a meeting to order at uh, two minutes of five. Uh, do we have any guests? We have Vic Dwyer. Yes, President. And Evans. And Paul Simonera. And Orca. Well, Orca's not really a guest. Welcome. Do we have any changes to the agenda, Sarah? No. Not. Did you get the amended agenda with uh, yes. with Doug Lombard's thing? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um. So, highway report. All right. So, at our last meeting, Vic uh, had informed us about uh, one of his lock pins getting buried up uh, by the grader. And I met with Vic the next day and we looked at the location of the lock pin and we'll uncover that. Um, we might have to do a little handwork there, but anyway, it just appears that over many, many years, the road keeps moving to the inside on that corner. The lock pin is on a corner and by about six or seven feet. So we're going to just try to slowly move the road back. I'm not going to make a an effort to try to reconstruct that corner right now, but we'll, we'll consciously, uh, when we're grading, try to move that road back a little bit. So that's that. And then uh, over the last two weeks, we've been cleaning under the guardrails on several roads. Uh, we pit, patched a lot of potholes on several roads. We've been doing some grading, hydro seeding on Upper Barnett Hill Road and McCullough Hill Road. And currently, uh, Paul, he's been getting, his crew's been getting ready for whatever we might get tonight, just to be prepared as we can get. Um, and Dubois Construction is working in our Notch Road pit. They're uh, moving trash and overburden to prepare for McCullough Crushing coming in uh, to screen sand. Uh, I don't have an exact date from Fred McCullough yet. Uh, last I talked with him, he thought he might be able to get in next week, but I don't know that for sure. Um, we started, all, we also started back on McCullough Hill Road ditching, and this will be ongoing over the next couple of weeks. Uh, we're also waiting for a culvert that we ordered uh, to finish up on Upper Barnett Hill Road. It's a four foot culvert, and so we ordered that piece of culvert. Uh, Dubois Construction will be moving down to that slide on Brook Road to complete that project that was designed by the Vermont Stream Alteration Engineer, Jaron Borg. Uh, we have the permit in place. And um, one of the other things we're going to try to get in um, as soon as we can, I uh, talked with Paul about it, and that is getting the materials so that we can fix the bridge deck uh, on a shady rill to Woods Road. Yeah. And that's about all I have. And again, this is only a plan and uh, it'll probably change as we go along, but uh, we'll just Maybe keep you informed. Tonight. Maybe it will change tonight, right, Steve? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> are you, is your picture on or are you not? No, on? it isn't. And, and I'm not savvy enough right now to find out why, but oh, okay. at least you can hear me. Yeah, right. I'm glad to be hearing from you. So um, I've just got a couple of quick things, Steve. Uh, I contact, I reached out to Paul this morning to, uh, to find out the status of the, of the uniform issue. And he told me that you had taken over the uniform. <laughs> um, well, I, I don't know if I've taken over the uniform things. All I said was, I'm going to order some t-shirts, well, which I have not done, but that's all okay. I was going to well, Somehow, I had this long conversation with him a month ago, and I hope you're listening, Paul, and we talked about the uniforms, and Paul was going to check into uh, other options on the uniforms. So, uh, I don't know, Paul, can you, can you tune in for a second and demute yourself? I guess not. Well, anyway... I will we're, check. We're, I'll check. We're getting nowhere fast on the uniform, so right. I hope we can. Let me and check. I'm happy to make phone calls or or yep. do whatever. Paul said he had he had other vendors, et cetera, et cetera. I just think it's it's crazy what we're doing. The other the other quick question I had was, 
on tonight's orders. And one of the things I don't like about our current procedure is, I mean, I realize I can email Dorinda and have her scan it over to me, but I don't get to look at the invoices. And I asked Paul what the $2,500 repair on the 18 International was. And he said he didn't have the invoice and he didn't really know or, or something like that. Do you know what that was? Well, yes, it's, it's actually, it's a bunch of small stuff. Uh, they had a brake cam that they had to fix on the thing. And there was uh, some wires uh, that had gotten chafed. They had to chase that down. There's a lot of it in, in labor time right there, but there's nothing serious going on with the truck. It's all, it was all little stuff, oil changes, um, all that stuff going up to it. Yeah. I mean, it just, because I questioned the old, same thing when I saw the truck, we shouldn't be having chafed wires. And I don't know, that truck's been a problem. Yeah, I think you're, you're right. It's not, it's not a seven year old truck anyway. Okay. Thank you. That's, that's, those are my questions. Okay. Uh, anything else on the highway? Anybody? Either, uh, Dorinda had something on, uh, uniforms. Yeah, I was just going to say there's another uniform out company out of Burlington that um, was advertising and um, I'm going to, I'll forward, I don't know who, should I forward it to you, Peter, that it's worth checking into it, I guess. Well, I don't mind, I don't mind calling them. You want me to call them, Steve? That's, that would be good. That's fine. Sure. Send it to me, Dorinda. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Thank you. I'm just, you know, it's not, it's not a big deal. It's just an annoyance to me. And it seems like a crazy, uh, crazy deal anyway. Okay. Treasurer's report. I've got nothing to report other than you probably are all aware tax bills went out. Um, and we've started to see some money come in already. The unfortunate part was the state did an update on Monday. So we had to send out 63 new tax bills, but that's gonna be ongoing. Wow. What do you mean? That, was, that was just because more people have fired their homestead declaration? Yeah. Well, because they're behind in processing them. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, so. So how many more, do you have any way to anticipate how many more might be coming? Hmm. No. Yeah, it's frustrating. But what are we going to do? That's the right. You know, it is. It is what it is. As I as I said in my email to you, I like the purple paper. That was very cheery, but I didn't particularly like what was printed on it. <laughs> yeah, right. It's not bad. I, I didn't think it was bad. <laughs> I like hey. the purple paper too. <laughs> It stands out in the pile on my table. <laughs> That's right. That's the object. <laughs> so you don't lose it. Oh, I, I liked it. Uh, anything else? Anything else, Dorinda? Too early to um, have any idea what's going on this year, right? Uh, no, we're just kind of, um, as you can see, there's like ninety thousand dollars in um, payables here. I'm gonna. I process the checks, but I'm not going to mail a couple of them until I see some more tax money. Come there he out. is. Hey. Hi, Steve. I found my way in. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Can you repeat your report now? I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> um, so as soon as, um, you know, so I'll hold off on a couple of these bills before I send them out, but there was some good size ones here, so... There were a couple of really big ones. So if you held those back, yeah. Yeah. $20,000 yeah. one, for example. <laughs> the what one? The other. Was it there one for uh, McCullough that, oh, it's, yeah, $19,000 for McCullough? Yeah, question. well, there's that and the ambulance one was really big. 35. That's yeah. my favorite. Yeah. Which we use, what, how many times a year? Less than five. Yeah, not many. So that's it. Okay. Okay, it seems like I had something else for you and now I can't remember what it was. I'm sorry about that. Oh, I know. 
the uh, you, you forwarded to me that water thing for Welch Park. That just uh, came in this afternoon, yeah. I saw that too. Now, did that, did that just come to us or it came to us as Welch Park? Because that should go to Benderson. I was uh, just. Well, if you look down through, it'll show you who it went to. Um, yeah, it only went to three, though. I just look, was looking at that, Peter. Let me see if I can find it again. It's on my other computer. I can go look if you want. Okay, well, I can, I can, I can look at it. I just want to be sure Benderson got it because they're the ones who are supposed to. I'm not sure they did. It was a kind of a weird group of people who were who were sent it. Yeah, I didn't Matt, recognize Matt that. would be the Benderson person. I don't recall seeing his name on it. Okay, it was well, somebody called Love or something like that, and. I mean, he may be the person at Benderson who handles it now. But anyway, I will I will follow up and make sure it gets to them and they deal with it. Because they are, they are supposed to be handling all that water stuff. He came in in like 228 or something like that. But yeah. I can't find it. Well, I, I was looking at it. I was looking at it today. OK, oh, that's all. That's okay. all I had. I'll, it's Vermont government. Then it went to the Middlesex treasurer. Then it went to Alfred and Fredericks at simonop.com and David Love and Dana. That's the water. Those are Simon is the guy who does the water testing. Okay. And then a guy named David Love and a, a woman or a man named Dana Nagy, who I know of either of them. No, I don't either. Okay. All right. The fun goes on with yeah. Welch Park. Um, appointments of Dr. Robert Penny as town health officer <coughs> and Elizabeth Fortman as deputy health officer. Action likely. So moved. Second. Sarah, I know you. I know you told us about Dr. Penny before. Can you just tell us again? He's a retired doctor in town who is willing to be the town health officer, whom we use once every three and a half years. You know who he is. He lives in the old Smiler House, the he's yellow. Always, he's always. And he, he's the guy who runs really slowly five miles on all of our roads, Peter. I'm sure you've seen him. Oh, there you go. I know who he is. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. I, it's very impressive. Um, anyway, he's willing to do it. Elizabeth, uh, finally, the problem was I had a hard time getting hold of her to just say that she, you know, that she's swamped and she is, but she offered to be the assistant. So that's good. I had a little bit of a, a smackdown from a program specialist too at the vital, at vital records who read the riot act, but I, I, I heard I, that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dr. Penny's expecting it because I told him we were going to appoint him at the last meeting. <laughs> oh, that's great. He's been, very, he's been very kind about that. I think he'll be good. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Is someone willing to make that motion? I already well, did. Phil did. I second it. Phil made it nice. Okay, second. Thanks, Phil. okay. So it's moved and seconded to appoint Dr. Penny and also uh, Liz Fortman as deputy. Right. All those in favor of the motion, <laughs> please say. Whoop. <laughs> I just what feel like I was just joking that Phil made that two part motion and I second it. Just a joke. I'm ready. Ready to vote? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Congratulations, Dr. Penny. Hopefully, you don't have Rob. too much work to do. Rob is what they call him. Okay. Well, uh, you know, I, I'll introduce I, myself to him when I see him going by. You should. So I have one thing. There's a woman on uh, on the center road. She lives in the trailer that's got the walkway down <clears throat> and her husband died. And apparently all the neighbors around there are quite concerned about her because she walks. Jacqueline She's Taylor. Kind of, uh, say her name again. Jacqueline Taylor. Yeah. Zach and apparently she used to get out and drive her car around the loop and then she totaled it one time. So she has no car and she's kind of walking around and, you know, I never had seen her before and I thought she was somebody's grandmother and all the neighbors are concerned about her. And I just, 
I didn't know if anyone had told you about it, Sarah, because uh, Jacqueline's been in my office before. Um, and she does every once in a while have an escort to help her get through some things. So, yeah. uh, you know, I'll uh, I'll try to remember who that was, who her assistant was, and see if we can uh, if, if check. I'll check on her. She's very nice. It's just a, a short term memory problem she has. I.e., she yeah. has one. She's got a friend at Hallstrom's that a friend that she checks on her, and Deb and it's I check on her now and then. Oh. We checked on her a couple days ago. She wants us to take her a ride around the loop there one time. Deb got her some ice cream one time, so she's fine right now. Okay, well, I mean, as long as people are aware of it, because I had someone tell me about it, and I said, you should really call, tell her about it. Yep. Uh, well, that's that's great that people are keeping an eye on her. When I need that, when I need that help, I'll be reaching out to all of you. <laughs> Sorry, you'll get it, Peter. <laughs> Hopefully, it won't be coming anytime soon. <laughs> Approval of the July 21st select board minutes. Motion, please. So moved. Second. A second. Okay, thank you. Uh, all in favor of approving the uh, July 21st minutes, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Approval of a curd cup for Katie Stolberg at 827 Center Road and authorizing the select board assistant to sign on the chair's behalf. Sarah, you just sent something out saying where it was. Yes, it occurred to me that you would probably want to know. It's, it's uh, if you wanted to see it, if it's on the email and that I just sent to you guys. Oh, okay, hold on. Yeah, I'm just downloading it. Good thing I have technology at my fingertips here. Or maybe I do. Whoa, it's so tiny. I can barely read it. Well, that's why I initially didn't send it out because it looked, but I figured, well, you know, better to be just be paired. Oh, here's a, here's a picture. Okay, so. Where's the, um, is that is <laughs> so I'm more confused than I was. Where's the curb cut? I think it's on the pink side of the the second one. Oh, there's two pictures. Yeah, so there's the right below oh. the, the oh, yeah. schematic drawing. You can see where Center Road is and where the turnoff to Leland Farm Road is. And it's below that or above that, depending on how you do it. Between the Lucases and it's just above your road, Mary. Above meaning closer to um, the Lucases? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah. I, every time I try and read this, it's upside <laughs> down. It, it keeps turning. Okay, well, Paul did the initial inspection. He thinks it's okay, so. Yes. Yeah. That's, uh, that's good enough for me. So we need a motion, right? I'll, I'll move that we approve that curb cut and Sarah can sign. Okay, is there a second? Phil, second? Yeah. Thank you, Phil. Um, all those in favor of approving the curb cut for Katie Stolberg at 827 Center Road, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, everybody's favorite subject. Doug Lombard's request to renew the agreement to maintain a flower bed behind town hall action likely. So can you remind us exactly what we agreed to before, Sarah, please? Yes. So uh, the right by right at the corner of town hall uh, in front of the gas, the gas tank that's above that's above ground. There is a little, there's a little plot of land there and it was kind of an eyesore for Doug and Susan. So about five years ago, they asked the board if it would be okay if they planted it and maintained it. And they've done a really beautiful job. It's very lovely. It's right there at that corner across from their driveway. So that was, you stipulated or the board stipulated that there would be a five-year agreement just so there would be like, you know, what is that? Hostile taking or whatever. So what'd you say? Adverse possession. Adverse possession. 
Yeah. So, Doug, that five-year agreement has come to an end, and Doug would like it renewed. Good for him to keep his eye on that. I know. <laughs> ah, so just just to be clear, it isn't is it the is it the bed around the gas tank, or is it across the driveway from? It's the bed, right? You know where the get where the where the trash is, right next to the elevators. We know where the yeah. elevator is. It's right there at that corner. But it's on it's on the town hall side of the driveway. It is on the town hall side of the driveway. I agree. They've done a beautiful job. <laughs> now that you know where so it we is, so we would we would we would uh, extend this for another five years. I would think so. Yep. Yeah, I mean, is this anything in writing, or is this all um, a verbal? Um... We, had, we had we actually had a, a letter in writing. I think I, I emailed that to you guys, uh, though, as part of Doug's email, where he had a copy of the letter that he has saved. Oh, where... I don't, I don't, I didn't get that. Well, I can email it to you again. It was just kind of, I can, whatever, I'll do it. This is why I work from here. No, no, I mean, that, that, to me, it's perfect. And I don't know if it doesn't say anything about adverse possession, I'd add it in. I think it does. I think it says this does okay. not constitute adverse possession. Perfect, perfect, yeah, yeah. I think it's great. You'll make the motion, Mary? Sure, I do. And that part of it is that you'll send, uh, Sarah will send another letter with a, similar to the first one. And okay. figure out oh, a Thank I would also just put trigger. a little thank you in there for doing a nice job of maintaining that. I mean, oh, they're, they're improving our property. Yeah. Well, remember, they're going out of the house every day, and it's in their interest to see something nicer than just a gas oh, tank. I understand that, but a lot of people don't. Uh, anyway, I'm just saying yeah. they've, they've done a nice job, and it looks very No, they have. No, they have done a nice job. Um, we need a second, I believe. I second. did. Oh, Bill, the official secretary. Thank you, Phil. Um, so it's been moved and seconded to renew our agreement for an additional five years, exactly the same circumstances of the uh, of the first. All in favor of the motion? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Orders, are you good on the orders, Dorinda? Yep. Thank you. Uh, correspondence? No correspondence. Can and it be any other business that may come before the board? Wow, we're done at 520. This is like our best <laughs> meeting ever. <laughs> I think we deserve a short meeting.